Finally, a new mid laner joins the rift. If you're playing versus a Zoe, then be sure to pick a champion with a lot of mobility. Yasuo with his endless dashes, Katarina with her endless jumps, and Fizz with his invulnerability from his E all make great counters. Morgana with her spell shield, LeBlanc with her W, and Cassidy with his ultimate and burst damage are other viable counters too. Zoe's passive is an innate sheen that makes her autos deal bonus magic damage after casting an ability. Her Q allows her to hurl a star in a target direction that stops at the first enemy hit. If it does not hit an enemy, then it stays put at maximum range for one second. And Zoe can then recast this to a new location, dealing more damage the longer it's traveled. Her W makes her perhaps one of the most unique champions, being that she'll pick up used spell and item actives that enemies drop. Using this or one of her own spells grants her three bubbles that attack her current target. Her E is another skill shot that makes her kick a ball that stops on a first enemy hit. Enemies fall asleep after a brief delay, and if the ball doesn't hit anything at first, then it lingers there for four seconds as a trap. Enemies stay asleep for two seconds and get double damage from the first ability that strikes them, as well as wake up from it. Zoe's ultimate allows her to portal jump in any direction, and she can still cast abilities and attack. What a mess. What you need to know is that all of her kit relies on skill shots, and you'll be in a lot of bubble trouble if she's able to hit you with her E. Most mid laners have been going for either ignite or heal to help her with incoming ganks. If you're a mid laner, remember that whatever you bring to the rift, she'll be using against you. Exhausting her while you're drowsy could be a really good way of countering some of the damage you're about to take. As for her power spikes, she has quite the strong invade potential with just her Q, and she also has an insane damage potential whenever she hits level 2 with her Sleepy Bubble. Never thought I'd call an ability in League Sleepy Bubble, but moving on. Lich Bane is a really early game power spike for her because of her synchronization with Sheen. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, bring lots of mobility and focus on dodging her stuff. As soon as she's used her bubble, try engaging, and remember not to use stupid item actives or spells that could easily turn the tide of battle in her favor. Ultimately, have fun doing it.